I wanted to clarify on a previous video, one that was quite popular, and I wanted to add something to it. An older video of mine titled, Don't Be The Hero, link below, was all about not being a doormat, not being sacrificial. It wasn't about not being kind, not being generous, not being good, not being cooperative, not being a decent person. It wasn't about just unplugging from everybody and not treating people well. Basically, it wasn't about being in neutrality and just being the last man on earth. Historically, heroism used to encompass a heroism of self-respect. It used to include a lot of selfishness, a healthy form of selfishness. It wasn't uncommon that heroes were guns for hire, meant to be paid for doing a dangerous service, protecting the community, protecting people. Usually if being heroic for the society, they would get a reward if they returned and did what was asked of them. He didn't resemble the doormat of today. He resembled a lot of self-respecting strength. The script of modern heroism today is predicated on female-driven self-sacrificial heroism, where a man expects nothing and gives everything of himself, sometimes even his life. Without question, it amounts to little more than being a strong sheep. Nothing more. It's nothing that anyone, male or female, could really respect. It's nothing anyone with half a brain would aspire to, given you get nothing as a reward. And contemporary society offers the worst heroic scripts in history. Sacrifice yourself for women, children, country, for no respect whatsoever. The easiest heroic role used to be that of being a father, but given our culture today and how women think of men, there's nothing heroic about being a father. The symbolic immortality associated with having children with today's modern female is too pathetic a symbol of heroism for any self-respecting man. We learn most about a thing when we view it in its most exaggerated form. Thus, we can see why we suffer so much exaggerating ourselves as heroes. And so what of the opposite end of the coin, the anti-hero, the man who has failed social heroism, you know, status, women, power. I find the anti-hero pathetic because he has no choice but to play the victim. That is the way he gets noticed. This is his perverse way of gaining power. Being liked, being seen, being loved. Like a child. And the anti-hero always blames something or someone or anything for his inability to be heroic for himself. He joins the sheep of victims and somehow in the largesse of this group feels powerful within it. William Faulkner said it best, no battle is ever won because no battle is ever fought. I guess we all have a bit of hero and anti-hero in us. I think it all depends on which one we starve. So I thought it was an important clarification. Don't be a sacrificial hero for women. Have some self-respect and expect a lot for yourself first. Make sure your cup's full and then you give people the excess of your strength. Thanks for listening, guys. And remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. It helps YouTube share my videos around. Share them on your own social media. It helps me out too. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Comment below this video, and if you feel like donating, there are donation options below. I appreciate all you guys who have donated this month. It means a lot. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.